Last night, there was an odd sight in the sky. The globe is on high alert following an incredible event that has occurred in Jerusalem. Jesus appears with an angel in the holy city's skies, as seen in breathtaking pictures. This assertion, which has already been supported by other sources, calls into question how we conceptualize the supernatural and the divine. What is the true meaning of this phenomenon? Is this a reflection of the times or a prelude to something far more sinister? Prepare yourself for the answer to this question may alter your entire perspective on spirituality and the future. A group of pilgrims who were visiting the city were the first to see this amazing phenomena. Their thoughts instantly turned to Jesus as they saw the glorious figure in the sky. Because the picture was exactly like the conventional descriptions they had grown up hearing. He had a big beard, long hair, and soul-piercing eyes. Everyone was mesmerized by the sight of almost ethereal beauty created by the figure's dazzling light. For those in attendance, the fact that they were in Jerusalem, a place so intricately entwined with biblical history, added significance and impact to this occasion. The show didn't end there, though. The encounter was enhanced by the appearance of angels in addition to this remarkable figure. Their wings, which glistened and reflected the sun's rays, added to the enchanted and almost fantastical image of these celestial beings encased in radiant light. People seeing this vision were struck with astonishment and excitement, and the environment was charged with emotion. Others resorted to prayer, silently thanking God for giving them the chance to see a real miracle, while others were driven to tears by the majesty of what they were witnessing. As word of this remarkable occurrence spread like wildfire, people started to swarm the Mount of Olive, turning it into a place teeming with wonder and faith. Reports of the amazing incident were all over social media, and many were eager to share their own stories and pictures of what they had seen. Some images were fuzzy and unclear, but others showed the angels and the heavenly in sharp detail. One image in particular, of a white dove slowly falling upon the main figure, stood out among all the footage of this incredible event. This location was viewed by many as a representation of the Holy Spirit a strong and consoling spiritual force. A respectful silence descended across the throng as more and more people arrived to witness the spectacle. Everyone was holding their breath in anticipation, curious to see what would happen next. The calm, stately figure that everyone had been observing then abruptly started talking. The message was straightforward but profound. Forgiveness is the key to the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, remember to love one another. She exhorts everyone to unite in compassion and to cooperate in order to establish a world characterized by peace and harmony. Those in attendance felt the weight of the words that reverberated in their hearts, bringing them together in a shared goal, and the atmosphere was electrified with optimism. The audience appeared to be tuned onto a distinct spiritual frequency as the words resonated in the air, taking in each syllable. For some, the message served as a wake-up call, a reminder that fostering wholesome connections within a cohesive community requires compassion and forgiveness. Others were captivated by the message's profundity and felt tears running down their cheeks as it spoke to their souls. An almost tangible sense of calm was produced by the figures and the angels' presence. As they realized they were all there for a bigger purpose, people started to glance at one another. The strangers hugged each other, while others met in groups to discuss how they could apply the lessons they had been taught, others knelt in prayer. It seemed as though the occasion had dismantled walls and preconceptions, bringing together individuals from many origins and ideologies in a common wave of rebirth and hope. The moment appeared to get more intense as time went on. Many of the attendees pledged to carry out deeds of kindness in their communities as a wave of empathy and unity passed through the gathering. Initiatives to aid those in need, advance peace, and foster a sense of oneness among people were the topics of discussion. It was a realization that love is not merely an emotion, but rather a conscious decision that each individual can make. 
the stars started to shine brightly in the sky as the night came to an end, mirroring the light coming from the crowd's hearts. Motivated by the experience, some choose to share their stories on social media in a video testimonial. If you enjoy our video, click on Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just donation. It is a blessings to support a transformative journey of Jesus. As the recordings gained popularity, a wave of faith and optimism traveled over the globe, uniting people who were looking for a shared goal. Many people think that the message of love and forgiveness will serve as the cornerstone for long-lasting change, and the figure in the sky has remained a symbol of this fresh start. For those who were lucky enough to see it, the event in Jerusalem would mark a significant turning point in their lives rather than only being a fleeting memory. As a result, the evening continued to be filled with contemplation and assurances, and the words of the celestial beings continued to resonate in the hearts and thoughts of everyone in attendance. The fervor of optimism and the resolve to build a better world remained bright in each of them even as the gathering gradually started to thin out. After all, this miracle was more than just a heavenly appearance, it was a strong reminder that everyone has a part to play in creating a future that is harmonious and full of love. The message that arose from this exceptional event elicited a wide range of reactions, representing the diversity of worldviews and beliefs. Religious authorities from various traditions swiftly raised their voices, each reacting as they saw fit. For some, the apparition was unquestionably a sign from God, a validation of their beliefs, and a chance to bolster their community's faith. By organizing events and festivals to express gratitude for what they perceived to be a direct word from heaven, these leaders inspired the faithful to accept the message of love and forgiveness. Conversely, other people adopted a more doubtful approach. Before believing the miracle story to be true, these people sought more proof. As opponents discussed the event's validity in light of its potential interpretations, the demand for hard evidence emerged as a recurrent topic. Scientists and authorities, meanwhile, were occupied with attempting to comprehend the event that had garnered so much interest. Experts engaged in intense, driven debates on nature at meetings and talks held in a variety of institutions. A number of biblical passages allude to Jesus' second coming, providing evocative and motivational depictions of what might transpire. One prominent example is seen in the book of Revelation, which vividly depicts Jesus' return on a magnificent white horse while an army of angels and other celestial beings surrounds him. In addition to being a literal description, this portrayal has profound symbolic value that highlights the eschatological event's enormous systemic significance and transforming power over the cosmos and humanity. Christians see the second coming to be both a conclusion that highlights the hope for a restored world and an event that will happen at some point in the future. All people will be able to coexist peacefully and without suffering in this new kingdom. Many are inspired to hold fast to their faith despite the hardships and obstacles they experience on a daily basis by this vision of optimism. Moreover, eschatology is more than just a description of what will happen in the future. It makes people think about how they now conduct their life. Many people are motivated to take an ethical and moral stand in their day-to-day -day activities by the assurance that Jesus will return. They strive to live in accordance with Jesus' teachings, encouraging kindness, fairness, and compassion in their dealings with other people. The expectancy of Jesus' return turns into a call to accountability, where everyone is urged to help create a world that embodies the principles of God's kingdom. Examining the many historical views of Jesus' return is also necessary to comprehend its character. The fact that different Christian denominations and faith groups hold diverse views shows how different communities understand this promise in different ways. While some Christians interpret this event literally, envisioning Jesus' magnificent and physical return, others interpret it more symbolically seeing it as a spiritual metamorphosis and a communal resurgence of faith. Therefore, the idea of Jesus' return is not merely an eschatological event, rather, it serves as inspiration for an active religious life in which followers of Christ endeavor to live in accordance with his teachings. Communities' relationships with one another, organizational strategies, and attempts to change the world as believers are all influenced by this expectation. This expectation shapes the way communities relate to one another, how they organize themselves, and how they seek to make a difference in the world as believers.